sitcom series, then, and, now. Khadija James a level-headed entrepreneur owner of Flavor magazine was played by Queen Latifah. She was the matriarch of the crew who focused on initiatives that would enhance the African-American community. Her kindness benefited many including her best friend and roommate from college, Max. Erica Alexander played Maxine Shaw, attorney, at law. Max rarely stayed in her own apartment, which was located across the street. Her wit and likability made her presence tolerable to most of the crew. Maxine's confidence was a benefit to her career and was definitely helpful with snagging a relationship with the upstairs neighbor Kyle Barker. Kyle Barker was a stylish and attractive stockbroker who lived on the floor above. He and Max were constantly throwing jabs at one another which was humorous however unsuccessful in masking the obvious chemistry between the two. This character was played by the smooth PC Carson who was a perfect fit given his chiseled facial features. Kyle left the crew when he got hired for a job located in London. He had lived with his handyman roommate Overton who would occupy the space alone. Overton's character was played by John Henton. This country fellow was the superintendent of a neighboring dwelling as well as the building where they all resided. He was still learning how to integrate into city life and was provided ongoing guidance from the crew. His talent for fixing was a benefit to the entire group. He had many commonalities with Khadija's cousin, Sinclair. The pair developed a romantic relationship and she affectionately called him Obi. Sinclair the kind-hearted naive cousin of Khadija was sent to live in New York. This proved to be a good fit since the ladies would help her as she continued her coming-of-age journey. As much as Kim Cole's character was wet behind the ears, when the needs arose she stepped up to defend herself and did a great job doing so. Sinclair was the butt of many jokes, but having her older cousin and their childhood friend, Regine, in the same home was a benefit in many ways. Regine was employed as a buyer for high-end boutiques which was a job that was an ideal fit for her high-maintenance, pretty girl persona. She had a wig and outfits for every occasion including occasions not yet determined. Regine was forever on the prowl for wealthy men so much so that she ended up dating a father and a son at the very same time. This role was played by Kim Fields who has been acting since she was very young and has proven to be able to hold her own in the acting world. Like sitcoms before, the 90s paved the way for the world that we have today. Without the foundation that was set previously, shows would have little to build on and the society we have today may still be in its infancy had it not been for the work done in the past. Let's remember that societal growth is a continuous work in progress and the accomplishments of yesteryear was essential for where we are now and where we are headed. Thank you Living Single for propelling our world forward and brightening the light that was previously not as bright. Did you learn a thing or many from Living Single, like a lot of us have? Dialogue with us beneath, we enjoy hearing from you.